In this video, we'll go over how to use external libraries in Postman and bring the functionality of those libraries into the Postman sandbox. We'll make use of the DayJS library and import it into Postman in two different ways. The first way we'll import the DayJS library is by actually making a request to the web page hosting the library. In this case, you can see we're using pm.sendRequest to make a request to that URL. And then once we get the response back, we're actually going to go ahead and set a collection variable um, for the response, but we're going to convert the response into text. So this will just turn it into a long string that we can save. From there, we're going to use the eval function, uh, which will evaluate the JavaScript code, um, and then it will initialize the library. Uh, so now we're in evaluating the code that we just saved in that variable. And then finally, we can now actually call all the methods from the DayJS library um, and they're going to be binded to the word this. So the JavaScript keyword this. And you can see here we have a console log where we just console log um, the date before doing any formatting. And then we use the DayJS method called format. And you can see that that's binded to the word this. So let's hit send. And I'll pull up my console in the bottom left here. And you can see that we have this is the non formatted date. And then we can have the formatted date thanks to DayJS. Great. The next way that we can actually use the DayJS library and import libraries in general is to actually load it from a variable. So I'm looking at this request now, and we can see that I am getting a variable called DayJS code. So this is going to be an example of when you want to use the methods from a library, but you don't want to make an API call to the web page hosting the library every single time. So if I come over here to my adding external libraries collection level, and I'm going to look at my variables. I'll close this out. I can see that I actually have a DayJS code um, variable already. And if I click it, this is just the code copy and pasted directly in here from the web page for the DayJS library. So let's go back to the request. Oh, this one. Um, right, so I'm getting that code from the variable, uh, and now I'm going to invoke an anonymous function to get access to all those uh, library methods. And you can see now we don't actually have to use the keyword this in JavaScript. I can just go ahead and use the format method directly on DayJS. So let's call send. And we should see in our console again, another formatted date pretty similar to what we had before. And that's exactly what we have. So now you know how to import libraries. Go ahead and import your favorite one. And for more information, check out the description below.